Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Permanent back their bomb. everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 2. For the last time, welcome back to Halo 2. Because next time, I'll be uploading ODST. Shit, shit. Yep, come on, bring it back down. I ruined the moment, I know. Okay, yeah. The lighting in dark levels is better. But the lighting in light lighter levels is... Sorry. The lighting in dark levels is better in the anniversary edition. But it's worse on the levels that are supposed to be light. There's not a lot of mid-tones. I feel like it's more like it's dark or it's not. It's starting to run dry. Excuse me, gentlemen. See, it's moments like this where I really miss that Arbiter camouflage. Oh, my arms! I could do that. Oh, you might be able to hear my brother-in-law screeching in the living room. He's playing that Apex Legend. You are a prop, because you're shooting me in the spine. One little lick of that. Let's charge up. And why don't we just... Thin the field a little bit, you know? Whoa, and you guys are coming in. So why don't we let, uh... Yeah, yeah, just... No, shoot them, you idiots. Hurry, the flood's gonna get you. It's gonna eat you all. Um... See, I wasn't planning on that happening. In my defense, something different was supposed to happen. Did I just fucking miss three times in a row? Twice in a row? Point blank range? Trying to shoot a grunt in its giant torso with a shotgun of all things? Okay, so they come out of those holes. So why don't we try to almost drag them together? I hope I'm not stuck. This crisis will not be the end of us. It is but one last hurdle before the journey and salvation. Crouch? Yep. Please fuck off. Okay, I have enough health to stand here, so maybe I can try. Give it a shot. There we go. Oh, wow, it doesn't look good in here. Yeah, 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 yada yada yada. Is it going or? Oh, through here. And away we go. Because I just wanted to, that's why. I really do like the Halo system of dynamic loading. Because the only time you get loading screen is when you're starting or finishing a mission. And that's because, you know, that's you know, that, that's the time to hype you up. That's when you get ready. Once more with feeling. I knew oh! The Covenant was good at repurposing Forerunner technology, but this is amazing. They've been using the Forerunner ship's engines as an energy source for the city. The ship isn't so much launching as it is disengaging, uncoupling itself from High Charity's power grid. Stopping truth. This is that's interesting. Now is the time of our God, I fell into the melee there. Hey, fuck you. 
Yeah, yeah, I do know the plan. We went through it like 20, 20, 20 many times. Have you been here? We. Doesn't he do that towards the end of Halo 1 as well? Oh, fuck! Get to Earth. Good luck. Don't make a girl a problem. If you know you can't keep it. It's okay, everyone. Don't get sad. We know that it... Look, we know that he, he comes back for her. We know this. Don't be sad. Ah, just stay cool. I find it improbable that you could have hidden the halos anywhere. Like, they're so huge. Like, people didn't notice that large of an object. Whatever. What is that place where the counselors were meant to watch the consecration of the icon? The start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors. Superior firepower? That works all the time. Alright. Your ass, my size 24 hoof. Interesting. Are you? Oh, he's got his. Okay. This is the right... How is that the wrong way? Oh, so it doesn't really have a boost so much as it has, like, a dash. Uh, I just gotta keep plugging along here. It's cool that they give me the ability to play with a tank, though. I, uh, I don't think I've uh, used a Wraith in this before. I've hijacked a few, but mostly just to destroy them. Oh, and the scarab. Is that a friend? I don't know. They're usually more set pieces anyway, so... Just gotta weave through here. Try not to get nae -nade. uh Uh-oh. And now, hopefully, I can use this... As cover. I totally don't know where I'm going. I have such a colorful assortment of grenades, though. They're like delicious little candies. Maybe I should try to push it this way? Oh, God. Yep. Okay, I thought that this was a door. Okay, cool. So it looks like it actually kept my uh, arsenal from the last level around, which is kind of funny. I guess you must start with whatever the default is for Arbiter. Hopefully one of those things is an energy sword, because I might just restart this on easy. But you know what? I've had a, I've had a tough time. Okay, now that'll be a roadblock for the others. Okay, I feel like this door's the way forward. Well, we got a checkpoint here, at least. Hello, Craig. What am I doing here? You come on. There it is.
Oh shit. Please just stop, okay? There, thank you. I'll take this. And again, my dad is counting my lucky stars. I don't have my driver's license right now. Assuming he's watching. I am so lost. And hungry for that matter. You know what? I'll take a little break on the recording because I feel like it. Hey, and I'm back. I uh, took a break for like an hour or two to, I ate dinner with my wife. Um, she came home from work. And I actually reset so that uh, the guys would be here. I'm also in a more reliable uh, wraith this time, I think. Um, I read up on the uh, development of this game while I was at dinner because, well, I just wanted to know for my own sake. And yeah, this game was also rushed, although I'm not sure if it was as bad as Halo, uh, Halo 1 was. Crunch. See, I imagine that if you kill two brutes at once... then you won't have to deal with them going berserk and rampaging. But yeah, they rushed this game to the point where a bunch of Bungie employees were, like, really upset with the... with how it, like, finished its development. Right. So will this door open now? It will. <gasps> Oh, holy shit. I'm fight. The hunters are... <laughs> oh, that's so radical. Oh my god, that's the coolest. Come on, come on. Oh, man. <laughs> that is... That is everything. That is dominant. Where is your great journey now? I'm with my boys. Oh my god. Like, I'm with my... Like, I got hunters with me. Yo. No chance in hell that the Covenant knows to strafe. Yeah, just fucking play that kid like some bongos. Get him. So this looks like the last level. I assume that there's going to be like a mid-gameplay switch to Chief. Yep. But yeah, there's going to be a, a switch midway through to Chief. Just because like... Come on, it's Chief. Right, I'm going to go stock back up, everyone. Oh, well, thanks. This one looks good in both. Oh, man. Dude, the tag team of, like, Hunters and Brute Shot on Brutes. Dude. So it looks like, um, I'm not seeing any Maulers or, uh... He's going monkey mode. Whoops. Yeah, I'm not seeing any maulers, um, or spikers or anything. Kind of just brute shots. And, uh, I guess the, the red, the red plasma rifles. I got him. Don't worry, dog. Arby's got your back. Dude, tag team with the hunters. I also reset it to easy, just because. Um... I was advised for that. 
Apparently Halo 2 has the hardest campaign of any Halo game. And that Halo 5 is actually the second hardest. Which is interesting because I'm, I'm noticing a lot of similarities between Halos, for, uh, Halos 2 and 5. They're both the second of their uh, trilogy. Both of them feature a counterpart to Chief in the form of Locke and the Ar Arbiters actually in both. Yeah, just do it like Time Crisis. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I learned that in one of the cutscenes as well. I don't know if it's the the remastered cutscenes or what. Oh, that was nothing. Don't mind that. I don't know if it's the remastered... Oh. This could be trouble. Eh, I saved it, though. This reticle looks fantastic. Yeah, bring up that beat, yo. Oh shit. Let's go. Let's party, huh? I really like that they just give you um, stealth just ready to go at any time. <gasps> Yo. There goes another one. Hey, guys. <laughs> he just got barbecued. That fucking dude. Oh, my God. All right, I'll take one of these. Boy, there's going to be enough ammunition for it. If there's any brutes... Huh. Don't hurt my friend, you coward. Yeah, get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, man. This is something special, huh? Alright, so where am I heading next? Straight ahead. This is really cool. Guilty on this, huh? Did he just duck that? That was kind of incredible. He just ducked out of the way of that sword. Yo. Oh my god. You guys too? Dude, all the warriors. We're all getting in on this. Listen, you don't like me and I sure as hell don't like you. But if we don't do something, Mr. Mohawk's gonna activate this ring. And we're all gonna die. Carter has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a... Come on, grab a banshee and give me some cover. He's gonna know we're coming. Words to the effect of yes, Sarge. <laughs> Dude, shout out. Thanks, Blue Elite. Okay. Let's party. <laughs> Yo, this is the coolest. this guy yep I'm gonna clear him out make sure we damn this guy off our ass you know he says give me some cover but I'm pretty sure that scarabs are functionally invulnerable I 
Oh, yeah, we're going back this way, right. See, a lot of the trailers for this game was like, it, sh it, it looked like it was all going to be about um, fighting dudes on Earth. Like, it looked like that was going to be the main plot. And another uh, well-known first-person shooter featuring a space marine that really shook up the genre and, you know, changed things irrevocably. Doom. Doom's first uh, game is entirely set in space. Um, well, it's set in space and then it moves to hell, but it's still hell space. Love that he tries to charge, but he totally can't. Hell yeah, it is playtime, dog. This is fantastic. With uh, with really big ships like this, I really love knocking uh, knocking the little things aside, just bip them, bip them, bipping and bapping them. Excuse me. Anyway, so Doom looks like it's all going to be set on. Oh, sorry, no. Doom Doom One is all set in space and hell, and then Doom Two is all set on Earth and in hell, and also a little bit in space, but. You know, there's there's a, a lot of focus given to it to the point where the subtitle of the game is Doom 2 Hell on Earth. Not that anyone remembers that. Because, you know, Doom 2 is a fine enough uh, title. And then with this game, you know, so much focus was given to the, the shit happening on Earth and the trailers and promotional material. And then, and then Earth is like two levels, maybe three. You know, there's a few levels that are in Earth orbit, but other than that, that's uh, that's all the Earth, and then everything else they just go back to Halo. Oop, go time. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm I'm interested in that. I love the the swerve, and like. Now it's one of the most iconic things in gaming, and like, fuck, just people didn't know though. But like, but now it's it's extremely well known. But like at the time, people had no idea you were gonna play as the Arbiter, and a lot of people hated that because some of them are just like, no, we don't want to play as the bad guy, even though you never actually kill any Marines. And that was something even I complained about, you know, d despite my hype. So the Halo 2 Scarabs don't really look like the Halo 3 and ODST Scarabs. Probably had a retcon about that. Stay clear of the door. You got it. Hey, bastard. Knock, knock. Yes. So the damage that you could do to vehicles was new. Delusions and grandeur. Nice. But yeah, you can still fly a vehicle, even if... The, you can fly a Banshee if both wings have been blown off and both engines. Despite the fact that that is, uh, impossible. Like, according to all known laws of aviation, a plane that has neither engine nor wing should not be in the air, and yet it moves. Cool my man Galileo there. Allegedly. Nice, nice, nice. Going monkey mode. Honestly, fighting gorillas with guns is a... Dude, those shots just like bounce between his legs. Fighting gorillas with guns is an underappreciated thing. But yeah, so much of this game was like obfuscated and hidden and like, I love that. I believe it also had its own ARG, and I believe that was the even more well-known and famous uh, I Love Bees, which is a website. Uh, originally, it was just a website about appreciation for, you know, the little, the little guys what pollinate stuff. But then it was changed to uh, 
but over time it became clear that it was actually about the next Halo game. Ah, uh, we got a Devil May Cry door, do we? Oh, that just drilled my head. So my brother-in-law was being too loud while he was playing Apex Legends while, uh... Ooh. Ooh. While he's, uh... Anyway, he's playing Apex Legends. I'm trying to record. Girlfriend's working on homework. For la college. So, um, I just got the nerf darts that we got to shoot at our cats. Uh, and I just drilled one past his ear. Just bounced off of his TV. Terrifying. Uh, on the topic of shooting nerf darts at our cats, uh, we don't actually do that. That was the original idea, but, um... I had, uh, I had, uh, the girlfriend shoot me once, and I shot her. And, uh, yeah, nerf darts, uh, the nerf darts, at least now, are way too hard to shoot at cats without hurting them. Well, I mean, their fat might absorb it, but I wouldn't want to risk it. So now we just, you know, use him to make noise. She doesn't care. Please use caution. This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket. Mm. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Ugh. Carteris, stop. Impossible. Put Bacana. down, Oracle. Massacre. Put down and disobey the Hierarchs. There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. Or they understand and just don't care. Take care, Oracle. What you say is heresy, is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collectively, the seven... Wrong! Not another word! Please, don't shake the light bulb. <laughs> if you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead, do your thing. The sacred rings, what are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential bloodlusts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the Galactic Center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the prophets have betrayed us. No, Arbiter. The great journey has begun. And the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophet's escort. Are we going to see a halo fire up? Because I seem to remember that in 3, they partially fire a halo to, to get the flood out. Um, one moment. Let me turn down my audio there. All right. Yo, we got the boys, though. Shit. I fucked up the jump. Yo, there's a... Guys, be careful before you go in there. Whew. There we go. Just three sword elites going on a raid boss on this. Jesus Christ! Tartarus is no slouch, huh? That was a really sweet triple kill. Okay, so his hammer is stronger than by... Why has this happened, by the way? Like... Oh, I missed the shotgun rounds. Dude. He just killed that elite like it was nothing. Holy shit. Johnson's over there, though. Holy crap. Wow, so... He's an actual boss? 
That is not what I expected at all. Like, I've talked about in the past that Halo games aren't known for their bosses. Like, me hopping up and punching that guy in the face, like, at least four times is pretty consistent for, uh... for Halo. I do like the Brutes, I'll be honest. I feel like they're a good opponent. Like, the Elites are too cool and eventually they would see reason. Oh! Oh, I see. Johnson's stripping his armor. Yo, you would... It would require you to take a... Because I don't, I don't think I saw any... Yeah, that's a beam rifle. I thought I recognized the noise. It would take you bringing a... Yeah, like four levels ago, you as Arbiter would have to grab a beam rifle. Okay, Johnson, I need you to strip him. Oh! <laughs> okay, so that only works if I'm going to be right up in there. Hut's on his foot. That's funny. Okay. Yep. So I guess you could theoretically get a, uh... Get a, um... Get a gun over here. Oh, God. But you need to take it from, like, a couple of levels ago. Jesus, Jesus. That's really unfortunate. Just light this mother up. Oh, well, there goes one of them. It's really hard to get around him here. So I guess we're just waiting on Johnson to strip his shields. I can hear Spark and uh, Keys talking about how he's like stuck here. How about you go up? This is bizarre. Oh, here we go. One of these will do. Okay, Johnson's shooting. I can hit him with a sword and get away, theoretically. What's Johnson even shooting at? What in the holy hell is going on? Do I have to bait him? This is gonna suck. Like, I don't think anything can strip his shield. Because it doesn't even look like it takes normal damage. There we go. Okay, now I've just got a tango with him. Johnson. Avery, please work with me. Okay, there he is.
I'm working on it. I'm working on it, Sarge. Okay. Go ahead and strip him again. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it worked! That was a really lucky hit. Like, that was a legitimately lucky hit. You know when he's like, lucky hit, and it's like, nah, that was all skill, you're just a pussy. No, yeah, that one was for real luck. Where is he? Oh, I did it! I guess the others must have been beating on him. Star Wars episode. What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency of... Communicating with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Mm -hmm. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark, of course. Ah. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact. Unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief? You mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. <laughs> there it is. Oh man. I can turn for that last level. Which I'm sure is coming. Shut up. It ends right there. Oh my god, it ends right there. Silence fills the empty grave now that I am gone. But my mind is not at rest, for questions linger on. I will ask, and you Answer. All right. Shoot. It ends right there, huh? Oh, my God. Okay, no wonder people got so fucking feral over the ending of this game. It ends right there? That's like one of the biggest cliffhangers of all time. Certainly in video games. Well, I'll tell you this. I am I have Steam open right now. I'm going to manage DLC, and I'm clicking the button to install Halo 3 right now. <laughs> I might play it later. Dude. Dude. You're kidding me. It ends right the... Mm. Okay. That was Halo 2. Um, 
thank you guys for joining me on this great journey. Uh, I'll be back in and I'll be back in July actually. Um, with Halo specifically to upload ODST. Um, and then I don't know when I'll be back for Halo Three. And since I actually already recorded ODST, uh, I don't know when. Uh, I, I I don't really have a date for Halo Three. So, yeah. Until then, I'll see you guys later. I've been Alfred. This has been Halo Two. God damn, this franchise is good. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb.